What crazy ass story do you need to tell? Late to the party, but. When I was in high school and the few years after, my primary source of income was selling pot. One day I was just hanging out at home with the GF. We went to the Circle K a few houses down and got some beer. The clerk, who I knew pretty well at this point, asked if he knew where I could get a dub sack. I said sure, and that I'd be back soon. I go home and forget about it. An hour or two later I'm like oh shit, remember, weigh it out and go back. He had already given me the money, very important detail for later, so I waited until he had no customers. He came out and we went around the icebox, just smoking and chatting. I handed him the bag. Now, there was no one around. Empty lot except for this beat up Volvo facing the record store next door. If I had been paying better attention, I may have noticed this Volvo had completely tinted windows which seemed odd to do on a beat up Volvo. Two men get out of the car and approach us. One tall skinny guy wearing 100% denim and another guy who looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter in a beige sweater. They approach us and ask how we're doing. Me and Clerk look at each other like, you know these guys. Then all of a sudden, the flash badges and yell, EPD. You're under arrest, and cuff us, separate us, and search us. Beige Dog goes through my texts, finds a couple dubious ones, a few crumpled up 20s, starts trying to get me to admit to doing a lot of business today, blah blah. Then they surprise me by walking me and my GF back to my porch, saying they've seen me come and go quite a bit and just want to make sure you don't have a pound of heroin in there, and they'll just charge me with a misdemeanor. Otherwise, it will be jail and a felony. So here we are, on my front porch, me saying there's no way I will let them in my house and to call my lawyer over and over. At one point, my roommate walks out, says hi, gets in his car and leaves. At this point, Dog explains that if I don't let him search the house, he's going to park a few squad cars on the lawn, extract everyone from the house and wait on a warrant, and they will charge everyone in the house with every little thing they find in any room. I now know this is not legal. Then, I was just scared. My roommate that had just left was a total nerd with a great job. Straight edge. Rarely drank and never smoked or anything at all. I was terrified of him losing his job. Unfortunately for me, I had just had an opportunity to get a quap of mushrooms at a steal of a deal. My area was super dried up on mushrooms at the time, so I asked around and basically had all my deals set before I got it. This timing was perfect, because just 30 feet away on the coffee table of my bedroom was one quarter of a LB of mushrooms, neatly weighted out into ounces and January 8ths. Top that with all the pot in there, it wasn't looking pretty. So, I proposed that I let one of them in to search just my bedroom and be done with it. I knew once I let them in they could do whatever, but I was out of options. Beige Dog agrees. Canadian Tuck stays with my GF, who looks terrified like, WTF are you doing at me? And Dog the Sweater Hunter enters with me. I lead him upstairs, and walk right past my door, which thank God was closed, and into the straight edge guy's room. Dog completely turns it over, takes out drawers, turns the mattress over, the whole sure bang. As he does this, I quietly turn off the computer monitor with a background of my roommate and his GF glaring on it. Guy finds nothing, sticks with his agreement, and walks me and my shit-eating grin back downstairs. My GF, probably assuming I'm going to prison for many years, is looking like she's about to die, but I'm just grinning. Guy still fucking charged me with a felony. Then they leave. Long story short, paid a lot for a great attorney who was friends with the prosecutor. Since no money was seen to be exchanged, the charge was knocked down to deliverance of marijuana. The prosecutor recommended the minimum sentence. I paid an $121 fine, did 80 hours of community center at a local music venue, saw a ton of shows for free, and retired from selling. God, I hope someone reads this.